Nighty nighty. Ah, spaghetti. So, Zardy's maze was made by a very small team of people. Not even a studio, just like some people making a spare time. One of the people who made the game was Swankybox, a YouTuber. I'll leave links to his videos down in the description because they're really good. Anyway, Swankybox, is, Swankybox and the team people have been working on and off in this game for ages and they've finally released it into the world. And I think it's really good for what it is. And you should go and get the game. Links will be in the description for it. And this counts as your Halloween video. Yes, I'm perfectly aware it's two weeks late. This game is a horror game, but it's not that scary. I'll occasionally jump if there's a jump scare, but that's it. The actual gameplay is pretty standard horror, but with its own unique ideas. I like the overall theme of like plants and pumpkins, and the corn maze is a well executed idea. In the visuals department it's solid enough, they were going for an early 3D game vibe, which sometimes is perfectly done, but lots of things look too modern. The moment to moment gameplay is tense and there's an air of mystery surrounding it. Overall, it's a pretty standard horror game, but with lots of interesting ideas. For what it is, it's not half bad. 3 out of 5. Zardy's Maze is a pretty good game, and I will leave a link to Swankybox's channel, because on his channel there's a trailer for the game, and in like the description of that video, there's links to the actual game. It's a free download, but... You can donate money to the developers, which I highly suggest you do. Since I didn't really do that, the best I can do is give them advertisement. Yeah, all five people who watch my videos are being advertised to. That's right, you heard it here first. I'm a shell. Oh yeah!